Hello, this is Chad Sinclair with Corpy. Let's take a few moments to talk about a defined contribution plan that allows employers to make discretionary retirement contributions to their employees. It is important to note that with the profit sharing plan, employees themselves cannot contribute to the plan. If a salary deferral feature is added, the plan becomes a 401k plan. Employees can, however, have other retirement plans in place in addition to the profit sharing plan. With this retirement account, employers can make discretionary contributions to the retirement account of their employees. Employers can decide to make contributions even if the business isn't profitable, or they can decide not to make contributions at all even in profitable years. For self-employed individuals, however, they must be able to show net earnings from self-employment in a year in order to contribute to a plan on their own behalf. The profit sharing plan is a good retirement option for any business but can be a great option for smaller businesses or where year-to-year -year cash flow is an issue. The maximum contribution amount is the lesser of 25% of compensation or 58,000 in 2021. This number is adjusted every year. The plan must provide a formula for allocating the contribution among the participants and for distributing the funds after they reach a certain age, after a fixed number of years, or other conditions are met. The following is a list of requirements that must be met for a profit sharing plan. The plan assets cannot be diverted to purposes other than the exclusive benefit of employees and their beneficiaries. The plan can't discriminate in favor of highly compensated employees. The plan must comply with contribution and benefit limits, with minimum vesting standards, and with plan participation rules.